Hello, I'm Justin. I'm a 3D story artist and I'm here today to show you how to build a 3D storyboard in 3D. Okay, first I've broken it down into eight steps. First of all, you've got to read the script. And then once you read the strip script, you then go into your 3D application and you start assembling your assets. Uh, third point, you dress the set. Fourth, you start the stage play. Point number five, you place the cameras into your scene. Um, six, you render out your cameras. Seven, edit the cameras with your favorite editing software. And eight, you then finesse the cut. Okay, first, once you've read the script, you'll figure out how many characters you need. In my case, I need two. Um, one's called the Redneck, and the other one's called the Professor. Then you also know what your environment will look like. In my case, it's a city street. Okay, so here's the Redneck. I'm in Maya. Um, he's been previously modeled and he looks like he's all ready to be animated. Next character um, is the professor. Short fat guy. Um, there he is. He's all ready to go. Okay I'm going to dress the set now. I'm just building in my city street. Laying it with lots of cars. Very hard to find parking and that's one of the, the uh, story points in this little story. Um, there's the scooter, the jeep, and the two characters. And I'm going to start the stage play. Stage plays can also be referred to as blocking. It's um, just as the characters. This, in this case, the character is driving down the street. Okay, so now that the stage play looks good, we can start placing the cameras in. And um, so you can see here that I've got my establishing shot, close up of the guy driving down the car, uh, three quarter shot, side view seeing how busy, how crowded the street is and um, and then all the other surrounding shots so there's a close-up of the, uh, the fat guy and over the shoulder of the fat guy looking at the redneck and so once all these shots have been created I then will render them out and um, once rendered out I will then uh, put them into my editing program and in this case I like Premiere. Okay so once I'm in Premiere I can drag in all my footage and then I can hone the cut and um, finesse it and getting it look as sharp and as dynamic as possible and I can always revisit Maya and create more shots as I need them. Uh, one thing you might have noticed is that uh, the vehicle is traveling um, in a linear fashion, that is it's not stepped and the characters are stepped and the reason why I did this is because it's a lot easier to have um, to have a bulky a vehicle, a hard surface uh, object just travel with smooth animation and it looks a lot more dynamic to have your characters step through their poses because if you try and smooth animation your your uh, characters they'll look a little sloppy and wishy-washy okay so now the 3d storyboard is finished and um, here you can see the final cut um, you can see the process I went through um, and um, and that's about it so um, I hope this very brief very fast presentation gives you a pretty good insight in how you can approach your 3d storyboards um, thanks for listening Bye.